Good day Philippines, Mike Padawa here and we are back to our analysis for this Friday until Monday, November 12 to 15, 2021 and uh, this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's uh, proceed with our update, here is the latest graph set beginning today, uh, Friday until tomorrow is Saturday. We still have the northeast monsoon affecting uh, the extreme northern parts of the zone that includes uh, Cagayan uh, Valley and also areas of uh, Batanes, Bobo, and Cobo Islands. So these areas will have cooler winds and uh, reaching a, a, a peak of 50 kph and some cloudy conditions and passing rain showers. So uh, uh, please take all nature precautions against landslides and uh, flash floods when we have a very strong rainfall generated by this monsoon. And uh, across uh, Calabar Zone, Metro Manila, Bicol Region, Mindoro, Calamayan Group, uh, Marinduque, Romblon, Visayas. We have the uh, strengthening warm easterly surface wind flow. So these areas will have mostly cloudy skies with uh, uh, rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And right here across Mindanao, Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, and the Calayan Island Group, including the uh, various islands of the Spratlys, we have a surface trough. These are uh, uh, cloudiness with some rains and thunderstorms that will be expected for the next uh, 24 hours. Yesterday, a shallow LPA has formed here, but it weakened into a surface trough. And outside of power, we still don't have any developing LPAs or uh, tropical cyclone in sight. And uh, we have here a uh, we have here the. Uh, uh, presence of the intertropical convergence zone across Micronesia up to the Marshall Islands. So far, it's all clear as of this time. And uh, the coastal areas of the Philippine Islands will be uh, slight to moderate, becoming rough here across the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon and the West Philippine Sea, the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea and South China Sea because of the northeast monsoon so it will be uh, rough and dangerous to small sea crafts so that's the latest if we take a look at the fast animation you can clearly see here the uh, cloudiness generated by the easterly surface wind flow affecting right now the areas of eastern visayas palawan uh, isolated areas of mindanao including Bicol region and if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation there you go these are thunderstorms generated by the easterlies across Bicol, Eastern Visayas, Mindanao, and Palawan, while uh, some shower, rain showers and also some thunderstorms across the coastal areas of uh, northern Cagayan because of the northeast uh, monsoon. And if we take a look at the uh, rain uh, forecast or rainfall uh, Accumulation for the next 24 hours from windy.com. This is from the European model. For the next 24 hours, we could uh, experience some heavy rainfall across the eastern and northern sections of Cagayan, including Babuy and Kubub Islands, while over at Palawan, uh, the northern portions of Palawan, uh, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, these are thunderstorms generated by the easterly surface wind flow, as well as the uh, uh, various sections of the Bicol region, there could be some thunderstorms as well and uh, rain showers, particularly the uh, coastal areas facing the Philippine Sea. And if we take a look at the uh, three-day rainfall accumulation, this is until Monday. There you can see these uh, thunderstorms affecting extreme northern Luzon, the uh, eastern sections of northern Quezon, Bicol region, eastern Visayas. Uh, Sulu Archipelago, Palawan, and also various sections of uh, Visayas and Mindanao. And let's take a look now at the latest uh, forecast regarding that potential uh, tropical cyclone that is uh, forecast to develop for next week between uh, November 17 to 21. Based on the uh, computer models, there has been some changes in the forecast, it looks like it could only reach tropical storm status based on one model. The other model is just tropical depression, but we are going to observe that system. And uh, the good news of this uh, forecast models, particularly the European model, 
It now shifted more to the east without any landfall across the Philippine Islands. So let's begin with the American model. Uh, this is for Wednesday, November 15. The uh, LPA is just beginning to form here within the intertropical convergence zone. On Tuesday afternoon, it will uh, intensify into an active one, probably a tropical depression as it passes quickly to the northwest of Guam. And on uh, Wednesday afternoon, it will uh, become a tropical storm and is um, moving towards the west, uh, approaching the Philippine area of responsibility. But on Thursday, the system will start to recurve towards the northeast due to an approaching frontal system that will pull the system towards the northeast. So this is some good news. And with response of that, of that recurvature, we have the northeast monsoon digging down across northern Luzon. And on Friday, it will start to accelerate farther away. And we have here a large high pressure area over China, uh, intensifying or generating the northeast monsoon across northern Luzon. And on Saturday, the uh, uh, tropical cyclone is no longer within the western Pacific, moving away, farther away from Marianas. And on Sunday, it's already maybe being captured by the frontal system. So there you go. That is some good news from the American model. Now let's take a look at the European model. On Tuesday, November 16, it will become an active low pressure area. November 17, it will be approaching the Philippine Air Responsibility as an active LPA. November 18, it might develop into a tropical depression and this system based on the European model will enter par except for the uh, American model. But again, it's the same scenario. The system on Friday, November 19, it will remain quasi-stationary. Okay. With a uh, possible as a tropical depression. And on Saturday, a frontal system right here to the southeast of uh, Japan will start to pull this uh, tropical uh, uh, depression towards the northeast, uh, a complete coverture, and it's uh, likely to become a tropical storm. And on Sunday, November 21, it will slowly move farther away towards the uh, uh, open waters of the northwest Pacific or western Pacific. So on Sunday, it will move out of the Philippine area of responsibility. So it if the European model will come true, it is likely that it will be named as Odette by Pagasa if it enters the Philippine area of responsibility. But based on the computer models, it looks like the possible tracking of this uh, tropical uh, low that could become a tropical cyclone is somewhere uh, at this uh, area. Okay, so this is the possible. Uh, potential uh, area of uncertainty of the system it will move here then it will recurve based on the latest output from this computer model so this, this is good news to us okay at least we don't have any tropical cyclone for next week within or i mean we don't have any threatening tropical cyclone that could that could pose a potential threat to our country so this is some good news uh, which we uh, always pray that uh, this system must recurve. Okay, last uh, uh, Wednesday we mentioned that the European model is somewhere here, but the latest now it's just uh, it may enter par, but it will just recurve during November 20th to 21st. So this is good news. So let's uh, always pray that these forecast models will continue to remain without any changing its course. We will uh, keep you updated, just like I said, this forecast remains less than 30% probability, so changes will still occur. So we just, we'll, we'll just wait and see once it enters the five day window. So the five day forecast window that will become more uh, reliable where the typhoon or the uh, potential tropical cyclone will uh, move. So as of this time, we are on the lookout on, of this potential tropical cyclone that could form between November 16 to November 21st. So again, we will be returning again on Monday to give you more updates on this uh, weather disturbance. 
from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Pado reporting. Happy weekend to all. Be hashtag with the wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.